I say? I said stop it. Quit it. You're going to get in trouble if you don't stop. That's it. I'm going to the teacher. Wait, Darla, I'm just kidding. Can't you take a joke? Why do you have to be so serious all the time? You're always running to the teacher. Learn to take a joke. Jeez. Hey, stop repeating me. Stop it. It's not funny. I did this already. You're not original. Quit it. Hey, Mom. No, I don't want anything at all. Well, just one teeny tiny little insignificant, totally no big deal favor. Please, 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 with a cherry on top and sprinkles of whipped cream, can I please go to Kathy's sleepover tonight? Wait, before you say no, just hear me out. First of all, I clean my room from top to bottom. It's so clean you could eat off the floor. I know you shouldn't do it, but it's a metaphor. Just roll with it. Also, I washed the dishes, bathed the cat, took out the trash, polished the mirrors, finished all my homework for the next week, and booked your next appointment to the... The podiatrist! Secondly, you met Kathy's mom, and you guys totally hit it off. I know you haven't gotten a chance to check their wall paint for dangerously high amounts of lead, or check their bank statements, but I think she's pretty trustworthy. She keeps a fire extinguisher in the kitchen and everything. Also, she doesn't have any other big dogs or any other risk factors that could result in injury. So, what do you say, my loving, supportive, most amazing mother in the whole entire world. Thank you, oh thank you, you will not regret this, I promise. Mom, there is no need to bring the nanny cam. Brittany's having a party tonight? I guess I didn't get invited. Maybe she forgot or got lost? I thought we were friends. Did everybody else get invited? That's so mean. I was never ever mean to her. I don't like Brittany. And I don't care that I'm not going to a party. She's not my friend anymore. Why don't you come over to my house instead of going to her party? If you go to her party, you won't be my friend anymore, Ashley. I won't be friends with you either. Mom, my teacher died during my Zoom class. I don't know what happened. We all just thought she fell asleep or something. We didn't know what to do. I thought she had hypoglycemia or something, but nope, she died. We were like, uh, what do we do now? And Bobby was like, is she okay? Should we do something? So we told him to call 911. It was really weird at first listening to him trying to explain what had happened to the operator. He was like, um, hello? My name is Bobby Taylor and I'm in a Zoom class with my teacher. I think she's unconscious. Yes, ma'am, she was just talking and she stopped and fell out of her chair. And then Ellie was like, Bobby, tell the lady Mrs. Rumpelfrumpel's name. And he was like, oh, yes, ma'am. Her name is Mrs. Rumpelfrumpel. Oh, her first name? It's, a, uh, oh, it's Sally. Sally Rumpelfrumpel. No, I, uh, I don't know where she lives. Okay, thank you. Guys, the operator told us to stay on the Zoom call so the police can ask us some questions when they get to our house. So we waited until they got there for like an hour or so, and the police asked us some questions and stuff, but they didn't tell us if she was alright, so we all just assumed she died and left the call. Mom, you've got to find out what happened. Maybe she didn't die, maybe she had hypoglycemia or something, or maybe she just needed a little extra candy or something to keep her awake. We won't know for a while, but on the bright side, looks like there's no class for the next two whole weeks. Jessica, what did you do? Look at the mess you made. You better clean it up. Now, there's going to be paint stuck on the carpet. Why can't you think before you do stupid things? Jess, I'm sorry. Please don't cry. I didn't mean to yell at you. It's just, with Mom in the hospital, I'm supposed to take care of things, but it's hard. I'm not a grown-up. But I have to try to be because Dad has to work extra hard to pay for Mom's hospital bills. But everything's going to be okay. Mom's going to get better and come home and everything will be just like it used to be. I just know it. How about I help you clean this up? We'll do it together. I love you, Jess. Will you give me a hug?